now for this part of the question we're asked to find the length of AB. And to do this it relies on Pythagoras' theorem. Essentially we see this then as a right angle triangle like for instance just drop down there and go across there and you've got your right angle triangle. So Pythagoras' theorem being essentially that this side squared plus this side squared equals the hypotenuse squared. This is all summed up in a formula that you should already know. That is if you have two points, let's say they have coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2, then the distance L, let's say, the length of that line is equal to the square root of the difference between the x coordinates squared, that's x1 minus x2 squared, plus the difference in the y coordinates, y1 minus y2 all squared. There you go, Pythagoras' theorem. Formally you should know. Okay, so it doesn't matter which of these pairs of coordinates you have as x1, y1. Experiment, do it the other way around to what I do and you should get the same answer. But if we start this off we've got AB then equals the square root of the difference between the x coordinates. I'm going to do 7 minus 2, 7 minus 2 all squared plus the difference between the y coordinates 4 minus 0, 4 minus 0 all squared. So what we've got here is the square root then of 7 minus 2 all squared, so that's going to be 5 squared, plus 4 minus 0, 4, 4 squared. So you can see this length along here was 5 units, this was 4 units up here. Anyway, if you work that out, we've got root of 25 plus 16, which is the square root of 41. And that can't be broken down any further. There is no square number that's a factor of 41. So I would just leave it like that. All right?